in this tutorial we will learn about VBA code that can split data into multiple worksheets on the basis of column values here I have this Excel sheet this sheet has data in five columns what I want I want to create multiple sheets basis on values in column D column D has city names so what I want I want to create individual sheet for each city and then transferring data of that city on that Excel sheet now if I do this task manually it will consume lot of time and efforts and in case data is very huge then it will require lot of time so there could be multiple approaches to do this task one approach is that I filter data and copy data for each city and then add a new sheet for that city and then pasting the filtered data another approach could be sorting data by city and then copying data for each city and creating sheet for each city so there are multiple approaches that we can apply however the quickest way is to create some macro or write VBA program that will do this task so what I have done I have created a macro or I would say I have written some VBA code on the back end of this command button that we can see here once I click this command button this will do the task so let me click on this command button so we can see that there are five sheets that are added and data of each city is transferred although I did not sort data and I did not copy and paste on these sheet all the tasks is being done by VBA code so let's cross check if this VBA code is working correctly if I go to sheet name Mumbai so we can see that we have eight lines of data so if I go to main sheet that is master sheet and I apply filter and then on city if I select Mumbai then we have eight lines of data so that means this VBA code is working perfectly so let's understand what is that VBA code and how we can develop that so what I'll do I'll go to developer tab and then I'll click on design mode so that when I double click on this command button I can see that what is the code that is written on the back end of this command button so this is the VBA code that I have developed to do this task so what I'll do I'll explain this code so that it is easy to use this code or if there is any specific requ requirement then we can just modify a little bit in this code and use as per requirement so let's start or before starting I would say if you want to write the same code you can pause this video and then write down the code so what I'm going to do here is that I will add comments to understand what this code is doing or what each line of this VBA code is doing so here we can see that I have declared three constant variables so what I'll do I'll add a line and write comment like uh, declaring constant variables so here constant column equal to D because data of city is in D column so in your data if you have data in any other column that you want to consider you can declare here then constant header row equal to 1 because first line I am considering as column headings and on each sheet I want to transfer that line and then starting row equal to 2 that means data from master sheet I want to transfer from second row onwards because first row of heading is already copied 
so let me add one more comment here assigning initial value as 2 because data transfer will happen from second row onwards so next line says dim source sheet as worksheet so i would add comment as to declare variable of worksheet type for main sheet that has data to split and then this line dim destination sheet as worksheet so this i am declaring for adding required number of sheets so let's write one more comment here to declare variable of worksheet type for adding required sheets and then dim source row as long and dim last row as long dim destination row as long and then dim city as a string so these three variables we will make use of in this program now let me add comment for this dim city as a string so this variable is for changing values we are considering column D that has city names so I am using this variable for changing values because once value in column D is changing this code is adding new sheet so let me write comment this variable is for changing column D that has city names and then set source sheet as active sheet what this line is doing this is giving memory to program for active sheet or I would say master sheet so I have written active sheet because if even name is different instead of master sheet this code will work so let me write comment here also assigning active sheet that has data to split and then last row equal to source sheet dot cells so source sheet is master sheet and here the number of rows that are there and column so this column is already we have declared as D so basis on D column we are checking the last filled row on master sheet so let me write comment to know the so this line is to know the last filled row and active sheet basis on column D that has data to split so this is some basic preparation and then I am using one for loop so for source row equal to a starting row 
to last row and a starting row we have already declared second row so this loop will run through second row to last row on master sheet and this is the closing statement next by source row so let's understand little bit about this part of VBA code city this is a string variable equal to source sheet dot says source row dot column dot value and then set destination sheet equal to nothing at this stage so what is happening city variable is storing value of column d from master sheet and then one statement on error resume next so that program doesn't give any error and then next line is set destinations sheet equal to worksheets and then city so this is pointing to the sheet named with city that means whatever value city string is storing this is pointing to that sheet and then this code is saying if destination sheet is nothing that means if we already do not have that sheet then it will be added so this is to add new sheet so whenever we don't find or i would say this vb code does not find any sheet for cell value equal to column d then it will add new sheet and then that new sheet will be given name of value which is stored in city variable so let me write a comment here to add new sheet if there is no existing sheet for the given city name and this small line destination sheet or new added sheet is given name so I can write here to assign name to added sheet and then source sheet dot rows header row dot copy and then destination then destination sheet dot row header row that means this line is copying header row or the first row to each newly added sheet so let me write comment here and then here we close the if statement so we can see that within if what we are doing is if there is no existing sheet for any city then it will be added assigned the name and then transferring the first row or header row and let's understand further two three lines of code then destination row equal to destination sheet dot cells and then destination sheet dot row dot count column dot and excel app dot row plus one so this line is to find the next available line to copy and paste data from master sheet so let me write comment here or I would say to identify the next available row on destination C 
sheet and once this is found the last line says copying row one by one and pasting to newly added sheet or if sheet is already existing then on that sheet in next available row so let me write the final comment copying rows from active sheet one by one and pasting to next available line on destination sheet why I am every time saying destination sheet because I have given variable name as destination sheet so in case you want to give any other name for this variable we can do that so this is I would not say very simple code but it is doable and we can understand this code and even we can modify this code for different requirements related to segregating data or breaking data into multiple sheets or splitting data as per the requirement so let me stop it here so that you can take a look of this code or you can write this code as per your requirement so thanks for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more learning tutorials of different VBA projects and VBA examples thank you